G'day guys, it's Alan Kemp here once again coming at you from MC Studios, once again coming at you, delivering you a speech about solar panels and today we're going to talk about sharp solar panels. So a lot of people will be looking for sharp solar panels reviews or what's going on because sharp have now entered the game. Sharp's now entered the Australian industry. They've been long gone to Hong Kong or wherever for years. I think they sold stuff initially here in the mid 2000s because I think I've taken some real like 60 watt panels off a roof or something before. They used to make an inverter, the Sharp 1600 watt piece of shit that thing was. Uh, I've replaced a lot of them. Uh, but uh, yeah, as for the panels, they've never really been around. Not since my time in doing this and that's, you know, getting on to... 12, 13 years now. Uh, but yeah, Sharp Panels have now made an entrance on the wholesaler's uh, price list, which is a bit eyebrow raising. And I thought, what's going on here? And what do we know about Sharp? It's a Japanese com company, electronics company. What, are, what else do we know about it? It doesn't sit anywhere up there like Panasonic and... Uh, and uh, Sony or anything like that. It's kind of like sits in its own lane. To be honest, I thought they were gone. Didn't hear anything of them or Sharp. You never, it's a big 90, 1990s brand, I think, or in 80s even. But yeah, so let's get into it. So anyway, they're delivering panels now. <laughs> Popped up. I said, what's going on here? Had a look at it. And uh, yeah, which I'm going to sell because... The thing about it is the warranty on it is pretty good because it's a sharp warranty. So it's a 415 watt black frame panel. Uh, sharp Australia knows about it in here. So it's all going through sharp, proper, properly done. I'll go through it all with you. I've done a little bit of a research on it before I press record here. So uh, bear with me. But yeah, if you're considering a sharp panel, the panel itself, let's have a look at it, shall we? All right, this is it here, the NUJC415B, the high performer. Now, let's get into it. Uh, see this here, guaranteed positive tolerance plus 5%, stock standard. See this here, bus bar technology, stock standard, half cut cell, been out for years now. It's a standard 415 watt uh, half cut cell. We that's the thing. Is Sharp making it? No, not. I don't know that actually. But is Sharp getting it from China? Yes, it's being manufactured in China. It's got Sharp. To my knowledge, it's just a manufactured panel in China. Not sure if it's another solar company really making it, and then OEM putting Sharp's. Um, red logo red writing logo on top and go boom here it is a sharp panel probably that's what's happening given the fact that it's a 415 watt half cut panel i've had a bit of a dig around i couldn't find out what's going on the other thing could be is sharp uh, has their own factory actually and they're just doing it in china and um, they've been doing it behind the scenes even before they've hit australia because they've only just recently hit australia so They've been making these panels now for Chinese market, Japanese market, European market. They've sold a bit in America as well. So they're just now entering Australia at a decent price where they can make money and so put their name to it and do a good warranty job. And that's why I'd be more than happy to sell these. Yeah, because it's, you know, a, a brand that's got a bit of, you know, groundwork and stability behind it so the th thing about sharp story in the solar game they've been 60 years uh in doing solar panels i think they're like one of the first solar panel manufacturer and that's the whole story that they've had some japs go over to china and suss out some factories and be like oh yeah this is good yeah we we will use this one and put sharp and they're gonna say yeah it's good so Japanese love quality, you know what I mean? So you're going to trust that the story is the head on shows went over there 
and they've selected only the finest solar panels to have sharp the proud japanese name on it so they're not going to serve you up rubbish and they're going to warrant it for a full 25 years which it says down here uh what's the frame on it i don't know that's a bit strange oh. it doesn't doesn't tell you how wide it is Oh, here it is, 30 mil. Oh, it's up here. Oh, I was looking at the pallet size. I was like, I thought they had a typer. Yeah, 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 30 mil frame. Lot, some of them now, I believe, getting down to 25 and even thinner. But yeah, 20.7 kilogram panel. So if you look at this, these mechanical data here, and if you find another one in the market, another spec sheet that has identical um, works there, that's where you can find out who is manufacturing for Sharp, if someone is. All right, so what else have we said? So in late 2022, October 2022, about 12 months ago, uh, on pvmagazine.com, uh, they released a press release saying that their 410s are now 415s, which is what we're getting here in Australia. And we weren't selling them in Australia at that time, to my knowledge. So they've been sold, uh, yeah, for commercial this product is intended for applications in commercial and industrial projects. So it's probably been pumped out domestically in Japan a lot. They've been confident enough and they've sent it to here, to Australia now. So, Taiyang News uh, have said that, yeah, this panel, which is what they were talking about in that uh, article, has was first manufactured January 26, 22. So it's nearly two years old, the panel, or a year and a half old. So they haven't had any problems with, with that at the moment. They're selling it here in Australia. That's why uh, companies such as ourselves are going to be more than willing to put Sharp on. Got the great warranty on it, Sharp, uh, and the price point's pretty good. You've also got uh, Sharp Australia, sharp.net.au forward slash green energy here. They've uh, they've marked three panels here for Australia. So to my knowledge, it's this one here in the middle, the 415B that we've got at the moment. Uh, and sharp.net.au already has that. Um, they've written about that. Now if we go up here, a little bit of information about Sharp. Let's go through it. Uh, longest experience this is because like i said sharp were founded in 1912 so the company's over 110 years old ha huh, that's pretty good uh that means you your warranty they're here for a, for a long time not just a good time um 1953 is when they were pumping out tvs heaps as we know that's where sharp all come from then the solar beginning in 1959. So they've been um, involved with solar panels and solar power since 1959. Uh, they've been using uh, their solar panels in space, uh, lighthouses. Um, they made the world's first solar powered calculator. We all remember having one of those. Um, and then it gets more, fo goes forward to 2000 though the world leader pv manufacturer now solar was a lot different year 2000 only japan and a little bit of other countries had solar australia definitely don't i don't remember seeing anything in 2000 around 2005 i started to see some panels pop up here and there but uh yeah totally different game 20 years ago uh then we move forward to 2019 they've put solar panels on ev cars probably slapped on a 50 watt panel or something <laughs> and then you move forward to 2020 where you've got the introduction of half cell panels to a portfolio bifacial introduction 2022 nothing at all groundbreaking or riveting there now here it is uh this is where they've pumped out 1.1 gigawatt in america not bad europe four and a half gigawatt so they actually sell these in germany uh, Asia, only more than one gigawatt, and that's throughout Southeast Asia. It's not bad, like in uh, Thailand and places like that. And then Japan itself, domestically, 9.6 gigawatt. 
Now, the um, to my knowledge, the sharp contact in Australia uh, is probably the re uh, the wholesaler selling the panels or sharp themselves, as you've seen on their website. They know about it. It's not like the Hyundai's that were coming in. Oh no, that's not really Hyundai. No, no, this is really sharp. Yeah, that's not Hyundai's second company or anything. No, no, this is sharp. So it's a sharp product that you're buying. Uh, and yeah, solar subsidiary for Asia, I believe, is in Bangkok, Thailand. But they would definitely be, once sharp starts moving a bit of volume here, they're gonna de definitely going to have some stuff going on uh, in Australia in terms of a, an office or a, or a guy running it and... Yeah, shopping it around to various other wholesalers because they've they've done a lot of work with it recently. It's a tier one product as well. I've seen on their data sheet, so they've been installing and in solar farms with it. So yeah, they've got the manufacturing capacity to pump it out here in uh, Australia as well. So collaboration with Toyota. Now we know Toyota doesn't muck around when it comes to quality. So that's anything to do with the factory that is making these panels for Australia and China. Well, you can't go too wrong at all, can you? Can you really? Um, yeah, so whether or not it's Jap crap or not, it's not going to be because it's made in China to begin with. So we make no uh, claims that it's Japanese quality and made in Japan or anything like that. Sharps just said we've got a very good panel and we're more than happy to throw a 25-year badge of warranty on it. 111th anniversary, there you go, last year. Tier 1, fully bankable, there you go. Tier 1 since 2018, actually. Like I said, they've been doing stuff in Japan and also Europe and a little bit in America. They're just ready to play in Australia, down under. <laughs> There's more information about their half cell panels that they're making. There it is, 25 year um, mono perk product warranty. Sharp guarantees, Sharp Solar Solution Asia uh, is your guarantor place of jurisdiction in Australia. There's your warranty. Yeah, so it is Australia. But there'll be contact in Australia for those warranties. Should your solar retailing company go out of business or anything? All right, guys, so all this is all pretty stock standard stuff here that I'm scrolling through. It's got a lot of it. Every solar panel manufacturer's got a lot. Sharp ju junction boxes. What have you done special here? Nothing's different to what I've seen of any other 415-watt panel so far. Correct me if I'm wrong, but... I had a little bit of a look. I can't find who is manufacturing for them, if it is someone. But I'm sure whispers will come out in due time. If it is someone, like I said, it could very well be Sharp have set up their own uh, manufacturing plant in uh, China. They haven't said anything like that uh, in here. Uh, but they could do that. Like SMA did that with the inverters. Just because SMA were making uh, Sunny Boy's inverters out of... Uh, China doesn't mean that they'll rebadge. They were that was their own plant that they were doing for a, a while. So they could be doing the same thing, just to keep costs down. They're doing it in China rather than Japan. But yeah, guys. Well, um, not much more I can see here that I can really project to. What's this? Sharp open offices. Sharp is rooted in Australia. There you go. It talks about Australia. So this is what you want to know. Sydney, Melbourne, they got offices. Approximately 70 staff throughout branches in New South Wales, ACT, Vic and Queensland. They've been in Australia since 1971. So um, there you go. Your warranty is... Here he is. Andrew Cheng is your sales director with Australia's mo Australian mobile number and email address. There it is. Andrew Cheng's the dude that's selling the that's the he's the know-it-all man about these sharp solar panels. So they've got a presence in Australia. We can clarify that. And uh, we're like so Queensland Solar Lining more than happy to take on the the sharp solar panel. Thanks, guys.